Over the coming months, 7,000 parts will be reassembled one by one. This painstaking process will require thousands of hours of labour and cost about £2 million. So far, the main fuselage has been assembled in a jig, rather like scaffolding on a building. The dimensions are within, all within a few thousandths of an inch, which, without the jig, that wouldn't be possible, so the wings wouldn't fit. There would be so many errors within the aircraft, it's very likely to still fly, but not handle as well as it was designed to do. Now it's time to take it out. The design of the fuselage was one of the Spitfire's great innovations. It's a semi-monocoque built on a skeleton of 19 lightweight frames, on which a thin metal skin is tightly stretched, providing strength and rigidity, but minimising weight. Next, they will add the tail section, and then the wings. Then they'll start installing the control mechanisms, the hydraulics and undercarriage. Finally, they'll install the engine, the propeller and the fuel tanks. Just move this out of the jig, which is quite a significant step in any aircraft rebuild. And uh, at this current point in time, I'm putting what we call a transit bar on, which is this structure here, which just means that you can manhandle the fuselage a bit easier. It hasn't fallen apart yet, so it can't be too bad. Chief Engineer Franco is happy to see the back of the jig. We can finish off all the rivets that we couldn't get to it whilst it was in the jig. After months of painstaking work on the frames and panels, the team is rewarded with something that's starting to look a little like an aeroplane. It's a morale booster for the guys. They see all these little pieces that have been through the paint stripping and the beat passing process, so it goes from the, the dirty stage of the job, which is right at the beginning. So now it's out, we can actually progress a lot more quickly.